Hello everybody, it's me, Christy Johnson. Again, if my voice sounds off, it's probably because I've been working pretty much with my head down close to the ground. So all the blood rushed to my brain. But I am happy to be here and reporting again on um, my garden. So I haven't really been a diligent uh, gardener. Um, life gets crazy i have a family i have kids i have a job and so i don't really get to do the garden the way that i want to but um i just want to show you what god did while i let my uh garden rest last year or maybe apparently a couple years because this thing you're looking at would not have been able to grow in one year <clears throat> I pulled this up out of my garden bed and um, this tree was driving me crazy. I said, I know this tree, I've seen it before, I need to know what it is. And I believe it's a flowering tree, a tree that I grew up around when I was um, a little girl. And I, I was like, I need to find out this tree, but if I don't have a name, how am I going to figure it out? So I began to research and I asked my mother what is the name of that plant that you have growing in your side backyard? And she said, I don't know. I just know it, it reminds me of hollyhocks. So I began to re research trees that resemble hollyhocks. And I came across this tree and I was able to identify. So this is a Rose of Sharon. But the problem is, is that I'm like, uh, okay, how do I get it out of my garden bed? Because I'm trying to plant my my uh, crops but it's in my garden bed taking up space so what should I do but I don't want to get rid of the plant because I just think it's a wonderful thing that this tree grew up and it's a beautiful flowering tree but I have nowhere to repot it in my yard so I had an idea I said well maybe I'll try to pull it up repot it in a big um, pot and try to sell it and um, as you guys can see, I, I ended up digging it up by the roots. I dug around the roots and I dug it up. And there's another one on the side of it. There was three of these that grew up. There's another um, plant that's in the garden bed, another tree that's in the garden bed, but that's a different flowering uh, tree. And that tree is called a mimosa. I'll do a, a video on that. But um, later on, I'm gonna see if I can try to dig it up because it's really gotten big. Um, I believe these will actually flower. And the reason why I say that they, even though they're young, I believe they're going to flower is because if you can see, let me see if I can, okay, yeah. If you can see that little pod, I believe that is a seed from last year. So in order for this baby to have a seed pod, an old seed pod on it, means that it had to have uh, flowered last year now uh, yeah that's definitely a seed pod or it could possibly be one of the old vines that's wrapped around it now that I'm looking at closer it looks like it's one of a, a another plant that kind of wrapped around it but um, I'm, only time will tell I'm gonna keep it and if I see flower buds then I'm going to sell it or maybe I won't sell it and just kind of have it um, because I don't want to sell something and say that it's going to flower and it doesn't and um, because my my name my brand is attached to that so I want to make sure that it's going to do what I think it's going to do but it, at any rate this definitely is because I've identified the leaves this definitely is a uh, Rose of Sharon tree and as you can see the roots, I try not to disturb the roots. I'm gonna repot it um, and see what happens. It's an experiment. So I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date. It may not even make it, but I'm praying that it will make it in the name of Jesus. I put some Ep Epsom salt in, um, in the, uh, the dirt that I'm gonna put it in. And Epsom salt is supposed to help with root growth. So I put a one tablespoon in um, a gallon bucket. I think this is a gallon bucket. Look. See? 
I'm gonna put it in this gallon bucket and um, take some of the dirt out and put some other dirt. I've treated the dirt with also uh, with neem oil so that um, any fungus that was growing in that basket or in the dirt, da da da, that um, the neem oil would destroy that. But also, what neem oil does is um, it also pre it acts as a fertilizer for the plant too, a natural fer fertilizer. So there you have it. That's my recording for today. Um, if you're interested in this, these plants, get at me if you're close by because I, you know, I'm not traveling and uh, I don't have the capability of mailing these babies out. But if you're interested, um, give me a, a shout out or somehow or the instant messenger or something or email me and let me know if you're interested in these plants. I have three of them. Um, but like I said, I don't know if they're going to survive. You might want to give it a week and um, I'll let you know if they survive. Here's the one. This is the biggest one I have. Here's number two, second biggest. I know that's not probably going to flower this year, but it might surprise me. I don't know. Then I have another one here. I already repotted it, as you can see. And um, that one gives me the most joy to look at. But since it's erect, you guys can look at the leaf structure. And that's what I looked at to, to identify it, is the leaf structure. Um, to identify that this is a Rose of Sharon. Let me see. And Rose of Sharon, they usually go straight up. Um, they're like an upright tree. They can bush out, but they like to go like straight up. So you can see that's what it's doing here. Um, don't mind those little old vines from last year hanging on to I'm gonna clean I'm gonna clean that up of course but I just wanted I was excited to see this and I just wanted to show you that um, you know what God has been doing in my garden while I've been pretty much lax on it he's still growing things in here so I just think it's amazing um, so again um, I will see you guys later if you have any questions comments please please get at me I love questions I love comments and um if you have any suggestions for me on what to to do with these babies to make sure that they um grow well okay so i will see you guys on the flip side all right take care